Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics and we're here to get started using the Control Hub and the Rev Hardware Client. For this process, you're going to need a Windows PC that has the Rev Hardware Client already installed, a battery, your Control Hub, as well as a USB-A to USB-C cable. And with that, let's get started. So for this process, we're going to want to start off by taking our robot battery and plugging it into our control hub as we wait for our control hub to boot up. You'll be able to tell that it's fully booted by the LED will turn green. While the control hub is booting, we're going to want to plug into our Windows PC. So we're going to connect our USB cable. If you don't already have the Rev Hardware Client open, this is a good time to do so. Once you connect the control hub, to your Windows PC and have the Rev Hardware Client open, it will automatically detect your Control Hub itself. It looks like this Control Hub has some updates available, so let's click in and see what updates there are. Currently, the Control Hub operating system is up to date, so we don't need to update the operating system. However, it does look like our robot controller application is out of date. Since we've already have this downloaded, we're just going to go ahead and update the software. Updating the robot controller app as well as the hub firmware is a relatively quick process due to the file size. For your control hub operating system, however, it can be a little bit of a longer update or if you're updating multiple control hubs or expansion hubs and or Android devices, the updates can take a little bit of time. So it's a good idea to just to be patient and, and let the device go through its process. Now it looks like we're on our latest version of the robot controller app, 5.5, but we don't know if we're on the latest firmware or not. Once we're on 5.5, the control hub itself is able to actually tell what version of the firmware it is on. So what we want to do is go ahead and scan for our devices. And from here, we can see that it is running 1.8.2, which means that the device is completely up to date software wise. Once we have all the software up to date, we want to make sure that we're able to get the Wi-Fi set up correctly. So to do this, we're going to head to the program and manage tab and then to the manage page as a part of the robot control console. From here, we're able to edit our Wi-Fi settings. It is usually good practice not only to change the name, but the password of the device to something to be able to keep it most secure as well as reflective of your team. Check Game Manual 1 to be able to know what the naming convention is for your control hub. Since we're just using this unit at Rev, we're going to call this Rev Demo. And we're also going to use a password that is easily remembered by most of our staff. And so with that, we have our password that's set for this device. We're also going to want to be looking into the Wi-Fi band. You want to double check what your driver station device is capable of running, whether it's a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi banded device. Most of the devices we use here at Rev are 5 gigahertz, and we also recommend for teams to utilize 5 gigahertz devices when they're at the competition. So for this, we're not going to change this. We're also going to keep it on auto as the control hub itself will be able to find the best channel to go to. If you're at an event, you may have a member of the field staff tell you to go to a specific channel. This is where you would end up editing that selection. Since we already want to be on auto, we want to be on 5 gigahertz, and we have our name and password already reset, we're going to go ahead and press the apply Wi-Fi settings button. From here, we're going to notice the warning and hit OK, and just give it a moment for it to be able to update. If we want to go ahead and check if the update is taken, we can head back to the main page here and we'll see that the name of the unit is rev-demo and that our passphrase for the network has also been changed. If you go ahead and also scan for devices, you can see that the name of your control hub inside of the Rev Hardware Client will also update and change. With that, this control hub is now ready to go for the competition. 